Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandanti again and today I will talk about the laws of logarithms. Here we go. Okay, let's start. I have here the first law of logarithm which is the lag of m n to the base b is equal to the lag of m to the base b plus the lag of n to the base b. Which means that the logarithm of a product of number is the sum of the logarithms of the numbers. Okay, in order to understand this, let's have an example. I have here... Um, the lag of 2x to the base 2. So how are we going to apply this law? Just simply look at this. We are separating this into a sum of the lag of 2 to the base 2 and the other one is the lag of x to the base 2. Now in this case, we are going to apply the properties of logarithm. Remember this? Um, the lag of 2 to the base 2, that's equal to 1. So therefore, you now have this one in simplified form 1 plus the lag of x to the base 2. Okay? Okay, here's the next law of logarithm, which is the lag of m divided by n to the base b, which is equal to the lag of m to the base b minus the lag of n to the base b, which means that the logarithm of a quotient of number is the difference, okay, of the logarithms of the numbers. Okay, in order to understand this, let's have an example. I have here the lag of x over 2 or divided by 2 to the base 5, so which means... That is equal to the lag of x to the base 5 minus the lag of 2 to the base 5. See, because it's quotient, then we are going to subtract the logarithm of this numerator by the denominator. Okay, next. Okay, next example here is the lag of xy divided by z to the base b. So this is a combination of product and quotient okay now the first thing to do is we are going to express the product into the sum of logarithm that's why you have here the lag of x to the base b plus the lag of y to the base b we are to group we have to group them together before we put the minus which represents division so there you go you have the lag of z to the base b so that's it that's the final answer since there is no um, expressions here that we can simplify Okay, here is the next law of logarithm, which is the lag of m to the power of a to the base b, which is equal to a times the lag of m to the base b, which means that the logarithm of a power of a number is the exponent times the logarithm of the number. Okay, in order to understand this better, let's have an example. I have here the first one, which is the lag of 5 to the power of p to the base 5, that is equal to course we need to put p first as the coefficient we because we multiply this one to the lag of 5 to the base 5 and remember this the lag of 5 to the base 5 can be simplified which is equal to 1 in the basic properties of logarithm that's why you have there p times 1 is equal to p as our final answer okay here we go for our last law of logarithm which is the lag of m to the base b which is equal to the lag of n to the base b meaning if and only if m is equal to n what happened now here is since we now have the same logarithm of the same base we can just can simply cancel the lag of the base and then you have there m is equal to n in order to understand better let's have an example here okay i have here an example for this property which is two times the lag of five to the base b plus one half times the lag of nine to the base b minus the lag of three to the base b is equal to the lag of x to the base b so what we are going to do now is to simplify this first. We are going to express this expression here on the left side of the equation into a single form. How? So let's start with this. First one, remember that this expression here, 2 times the lag of 5 to the base b, we can also rewrite this in, in a form lag of 5 squared to the base b because 2 here is the coefficient, meaning this coefficient here can be a power of the can be a power of 5. Next one is... Uh, the same procedure for one half here that's the power of nine and then i'll just copy everything the next one this is sum meaning we can multiply them together five squared meaning 25 and then one half nine to the power of one half means the square root of nine which is equal to okay let's continue here the nine to the power of one half is also the square root of nine which is equal to three and here the five squared is 25 okay now, since this is subtraction, so the, uh, um, remember in logarithm, the subtraction meaning is division. So I'm dividing this product because this is sum, so it's product of logarithm divided by 3. So then we are going to simplify 3 here. The remaining is the lag of 25 to the base b, which is equal to the lag of x to the base 
B. Now, as we could, as you can see in the uh, the law, you now have this one single expression in both sides of the equation with the same base. Now we can cancel the log of the same base, and then the value of x there is equal to 25. Okay, so that is all about this property. That's all about the laws of logarithms, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and bye.